Hey guys, what's up? This is How to Make Mensos on Reboot in 2017. Uh, this is a remake to my last video because a lot of people were giving me a lot of crap on Reddit because I forgot something. I'll explain more about that towards the end of the video. But anyways, let's get right into it. So How to Make Mensos on Reboot. Okay, I think the best way, that's right, the best way is bossing, man. I don't care anyone says it's bossing because you can do it at a low level, at a high level, doesn't matter. You can do bossing like like at a low level, right? And you don't have to wait until you're really strong, like at a high level to do bossing. You can just start when you're a lot lower, like level 50 and doing Zakum. Now, I would do Zakum, Hella, and Horntail, right? Because out of those three bosses, out of all the bosses in the game, those three bosses, they're super easy to kill. Uh, you know, they're fast. They drop a very good amount of Nessos, and um, you can do them two times a day. So I'd highly recommend doing those those three bosses. And you can see at the side of the screen how much Mesos I'm actually making. Keep in mind that I have 5% Meso obtained, so it's pretty much zero. Well, we'll just say it's zero. So it can give you guys an idea of how much Mesos you can actually make when bossing. Now imagine if I had spider and some more meso obtained. You can make a good amount of mesos doing this right here, okay? Uh, okay. So yeah, that's bossing. Now when the bo when you kill the bosses, they drop crusader coins. Don't forget to cast those in for meso pouches, okay? And you can get RNG mesos, okay? So that's that. The next place is uh, ghost ship. That's right, MP3s. I didn't forget it. Uh, now this right here is literally the hot spot. This is where everyone's coming to make mesos. Uh, I would highly recommend only coming here if you have meso obtained. If you have like no meso obtained, I think it's a waste of time. I don't care what anyone says. I think it's a waste of time coming here. I have 5% meso obtained and I only made 16 mil in half an hour. So I think that's a waste of time. I think I can make a lot more than that. Now, if you're coming here, I'd highly recommend that you have a Kana too as well, just to speed things up. Have a Kana and have a Meso obtain. So, if the map is taken, you guys can also go to Northern Heights. Like, I know that sometimes the game, it gets really slow, and then when they have more events, and then plus the two times drop and all that stuff, a lot of maps can be very full and very packed. So, if you like farming with mobs, I'd probably suggest going back to Northern Heights. Uh, but once again, have a Kana and have high uh, meso obtained. Next place is farming for level 140 slash level 130 equipment. And what you're doing is you get the equipment and then you go to Artemil and then you're going to extract it. And it is RNG based, so you have a chance of getting superior item crystal. You can use that for Japanese equipment. And you have a chance of getting philosopher stones. The stones sell for 300k. And you can see right here, if it's taken, you can go to this map right here too as well for the level 130 equipment. Now, the stones sell for 300k, so it's pretty good. But remember, remember, it's RNG, okay? Now, you can see in my inventory right now, you can see I don't have that many items in my inventory, okay? It's like, it's about like five to six lines of, you know, equipment that I'm, I'm, that I'm extracting. So you can see in the chat, I, I get a you know, Philosopher's Stone and, you know, some is Superior Item Crystal. Like I said, it's RNG based, okay? So I personally like doing it this way because I don't have high percent of Meso obtained, so I don't like farming like, with mobs. Plus, I have to worry about getting KS and all that stuff and finding a map. So I like to do it this way. This is just how I do it, and, you know, I think it's still really good to extract. Um, now I'm not going to talk about how fast that you can do it because some, some characters are fast at mobbing than others and some, some, some characters can hold more in their inventory than others. Now, as you can see, your, the average run of you doing this, you should make about an average of 30 stones and 30 stones equals about 9 mil. So it's pretty good. Now I would suggest that you have a little bit, just a little bit of drop percent and you want to make sure that you're strong enough to kill the mobs in, in one hit. Next place is Temple of Time to farm for a piece of time. I saw a video from a guy named Tommy Dew. Oh, what do you know? He's 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 in the server. What a coincidence, right? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I swear that wasn't planned. <laughs> so yeah, there's Tommy Dew there, and uh, he's farming for piece of time and the piece of time they sell for 500k, which is really freaking good because you can make a make all your money off just doing this this is this is hands down i don't care what anybody says like farming for a piece of time is the best way to make mesos okay but 
you have to have a lot of stuff to do this, okay? You have to have the three tools. You have to have a Kana. You have to be strong enough to kill the mobs in one hit. And you have to have an extremely high amount of meso drop. I mean, sorry, sorry, of uh, item drop, okay? You need item drop, Kana, and strong enough to kill the mobs in one hit. If you don't have any of those, I think it's a waste of time coming here. But if you have those, then I think this is the best way to make mesos, okay? Now, I only made a couple of, uh, of, the, st of the items, and you can see how much I made from that. So, yeah. <sighs> now, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about ghost ship and farming mobs. Personally, I'm lazy. I don't like farming mobs. I think it's a waste of time. I only think it's good if you have a meso obtain and possibly a kana. If you have those, and then I think it's the best way to make mesos. If you don't have those, I think... Personally, for me, I think pe farming for peace of time is hands down the best way next to bossing. Because bossing, you don't have to be funded to do this, and you can still make a good amount of messes, okay? I don't care what anyone says. Personally, I think Ghost Ship and Northern Heights are, you know, the worst. Pl the wor out, of all the pl out of all the ways you can make messes, I think it's the worst because... You need you have to worry about hackers, you know, KSing you, and then you have to worry about finding a spot, you know, when there's like when the game gets very crowded. You have to worry about all those type of things. And uh, on top of that, like if you don't have high meso obtained, you're gonna be there for a long time. Like I, I was farming for a level one hundred and forty equipment and I made like what, like nine mil in just a like I think it was about a little more than five minutes. Now you know, and I'm not funded. Keep that in mind. My character's not funded, so I, I make a good amount of messes doing that. Personally, I think Ghost Ship and Northern Heights are not the greatest, okay? I decided to remake this video because you guys gave me a lot of crap on Reddit because I forgot Ghost Ship. And Ghost Ship, I don't care what anyone says, it's not even that good. I don't care what anyone says, man. It's not even that good. But, um, yeah. If you are unfunded, I highly recommend you guys do bossing to start out with. And when later on, when you get, when you get higher level, try to do the item extraction or 140 slash 130 equipment try to do that and uh later on when when like let's just say if you're tired of that i guess you can try farming mobs if you're tired of doing that but later on when you get stronger try to farm for a piece of time uh i really can't think of any other ways to make mesos in this game and i think this is pretty much all that all the only ways that you can pretty much make mesos and i'm not going to talk about events because i know there's an event going on right now where you can make like mesos from like meso pouches or something like that i'm not going to talk about events because events are not there forever they're only there for a certain amount of time okay anyways that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video okay i hope those guys on reddit doesn't give me a hard time this time